Greetings, friends. Welcome to Daily Discipleship with Father Kirby. Today is Sunday, September 22nd, and today I'd like to talk about the servant of all. But first, during this season of ordinary time, let's pray together the act of faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God and three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because you have revealed them, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, happy Sunday, friends. It is the Lord's Day, and we're in ordinary time. And we know ordinary time is all about discipleship. Mother Church echoes the gospel. Mother Church invites us to recommit ourselves to the Lord Jesus. Mother Church is stressing what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. And of course, she draws from the scriptures in order to help us. Today, we are in Mark chapter 9. This part of the gospel is power-packed with divine wisdom, divine instruction. One part I just want to highlight is the call to be a servant. The Lord will remind us that we are called to be the servant of all, that the greatest in the kingdom of God is the least. The one who is the greatest is the one who seeks to be a servant. And so oftentimes, this can fly in the face of contemporary thoughts and approaches to things. We nurture a certain culture of pride in our society today. And so as Christians, we have to go against that current, against that grain and say, no, no, like I am called to a life of humility. I will serve. So oftentimes the call to service can become almost poetic. We make it almost symbolic. We forget that no, service is tough, right? (laughs) To serve another means that we place the needs of the other, the good of the other before ourselves. Sometimes it means we roll up our sleeves. We're in the trenches. Sometimes it means that, well, we have to say no to ourselves. There's a certain death to ourselves when we serve another person. It's difficult. And we see the model of service in the life of our Lord. The Lord was the servant of all. He served all that approached him. All who approached the Lord Jesus found in Jesus Christ a servant. And we're called to do the same. And it's difficult. It flies in the face of what we are told and how we are called to live in our world today. But we have to follow the Lord Jesus today. If we want to be followers of Jesus Christ, the servant of all, then we are also called to be a servant. So where in our lives can we serve better? Perhaps in your marriages, you can seek to be better servants to one another, spouses to one another, maybe parents to their children, children to their parents, the Christian family to their neighborhood. Where in our lives can we be better servants? How about at work or in the network of friends that you have or in the areas of influence that you might have? Where do we seek to be the servant of all? Today, the Lord Jesus reminds us that as his followers, we are called to be a servant. The greatest in the kingdom of God is the one who serves.